What's up, cinema lovers, and welcome to another episode of Two Eye Cinema. I am your host, Sharim, and with Two Eye Cinema, you know I like to give my opinion on some of the most popular pieces of cinema in the world. In today's episode, I will be doing a run-through and review of The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 1. Now let's get into it. On that note, don't forget to check out our merch options provided by KLB Supply at klbsupply.com. Follow Too High Cinema and KLB Supply on Twitter and Instagram at Too High Cinema at Too High Club and KLB Supply. Now let's get back into it. In 2003, a fungal virus sparks a global pandemic and turns its victims into bloodthirsty attackers. Joel flees with his daughter, Sarah, as the virus starts to spread, but she is killed by a soldier who attacks them while Joel is saved by his brother, Tommy. 20 years later, the virus has ravaged the world. Joel lives in the Boston quarantine zone managed by the Federal Disaster Response Agency, FEDRA, as a smuggler with his partner, Tess. When Tommy fails to contact them from his location in Wyoming, they try to buy a car battery from a local dealer, but it is instead sold to the Fireflies, a rebel group that opposes FEDRA. Attempting to retrieve it, they find the deal has gone awry, and Marlene, the Firefly's wounded leader, begs Joel and Tess to take young Ellie to the Massachusetts State House in exchange for supplies. They are caught by a soldier while sneaking out, and Ellie stabs him when he tests them for infection. When the soldier tries to shoot her, Joel beats him to death. Tess realizes Ellie is infected, but Ellie promises them that she will not turn. They enter a biological contamination area to flee the pursuing Fedra soldiers. So now lights. Just to start off, never played the game, so I'm going into this with fresh eyes. Well, damn. Uh, I haven't played a scary game since the first time on Hill. Damn, that was some time ago. Uh, but uh, the explanation of the fungi pandemic scared me a little. Uh, I was in the side of, uh, yeah, this will never happen to us in the real world until the man said, what, if the real world would increase in temperature, uh, that would cause the fungi to evolve. That got me. <laughs> I loved all the subtle clues that the infection had already spread, like the student's wrist shaking and uh, the old lady tweaking. Uh, then when the old lady started moving all weird and the dog staring at her, they, uh, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna like this show. <laughs> so it's definitely giving children of men mixed with Walking Dead vibes. Um, I don't even know these characters, but when Joel's daughter was shot, I felt that. I felt the loss. Uh, I like how the infected move. It's definitely more scary to me than any other like adaptation I've seen next to like World War Z. Like that was like my favorite uh, adaptation of uh, zombies or I guess, zombified uh, people. But yeah, this is crazy because I wouldn't know what to do. Like uh, Walking Dead, uh, they were walking all slow and everything like that. Here and there, later on in the seasons, they started like figuring out how to climb. But these people, oh my god, these infected are just running at you. Like <laughs> just trying to knock you down and get you to, like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. So I like this show so far. Like, I just like the, it's only one episode I've seen so far. I like it so far. So, um, grading. <laughs> so now for comedy, I'm definitely gonna give it mids. Uh, drama, dank, action, dank, horror, dank. Thank you again, cinema lovers, for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and place the notification bell on all if you want to see more content from us. Comment below to suggest any content. Follow us at KLB Supply, at Too High Cinema, and at Too High Club on all social media platforms for updates. And for now, smoke you later.